What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and good morning. It's an early Saturday morning because today we might have our biggest adventure yet on this channel so far because today we are driving the Elfstede Top. Now in case you are not familiar with the Elfstedentocht or translated 11 cities tour, it is the most famous long distance tour skating event on natural ice, almost 200 kilometers or 120 miles long, which is held both as a speed skating competition with more than 300 contestants and a leisure tour with over 16,000 skaters. The Elfstedentocht is the biggest ice skating tour in the world. The tour is held in the province of Friesland in the north of the Netherlands, leading past all 11 historical cities of the province. The tour is announced and starts within 48 hours. The Elfstedentocht has been declared to be in danger of extinction due to the climate change. In the past 50 years the Elfstedentocht has taken place only three times, most recently in 1997 back in the Volvo 850 days. So today we are taking that into account and are doing it in the most suitable manner possible, namely by electric Volvo. Now normally you start the Elfstedentocht in Leeuwarden, a city close to here, but because there aren't any DC charges over there, we are starting over here today along the highway close to Leeuwarden, that is at the Fastnet charging station. Charge. As because, well, we came all the way from the south, we got to charge up before we are going to do this 11 city tour. We got the stamp card as well, so if we reach each city, we get a stamp, so that's pretty fun as well. Lots of good scenery over here, so it's promising to be a nice day, nice and sunny as well. We're gonna finish charging up, grab a coffee, and then head to the first city. Alright folks, so the trip has started. We are heading towards Leeuwarden and then we will be heading south to the first stop of Snake, the city of Snake. Pretty nice according to the tourist information, but um, yeah, heading over there. We've started with 85% state of charge, would be sufficient you would reckon, as this race is about 200 kilometers long, the original ice skating race that is. So if we look at the range assistant, and meanwhile we're gonna head over to this lane. We see that the car estimates about 280 kilometers of range. If we do a bit better, max 370 kilometers, but that's not really realistic. I kind of expect 280, 300 kilometers max. As here in the north, most roads are like these national, local kind of roads where you can drive max 80 kilometers an hour. That's like 50 miles an hour or so. Anyway, Leeuwarden, then Snake, let's go. Welcome to Snake, also called the Friendly City. Now in a nutshell, Snake is well known for its water sports, specialty shops, outdoor cafes and many cool monuments. So welcome to the second stop, a village called Elst. It's a small old historic town, very nice. It's based alongside a canal over here. And very interesting, the people who live here, the houses over here, very nice houses by the way, they all have their private garden alongside the canal. So in the summer and also with the Elfstedentocht, that must be super cool to sit over here in your own private garden at the canals. and basically have a good time with your family, with your friends. But as you can see, a pretty nice little historic town. I like this one a lot, very cool. So third stop, welcome to Sloten, the smallest village within the Elfstedentocht. Not that much happening over here. Nice little village, what's else? And well, a bit known for its fishermen vibe apparently. There's a small harbor over here. Not that much happening at this moment, but apparently fishers, fishermen and so on. On to the next stop.
Welcome to the fourth stop. It's called Stavoren, the oldest city of Friesland. Located alongside the Ijsselmeer nowadays, uh, the Ijssel Lake if we translate it. Used to be the Zuiderzee, the Southern Sea. You have the North Sea, of course, in the Netherlands, and then or alongside the Netherlands, and then the Zuider Zee back then. Then we decided, you know, let's drain it. Being Dutchies, we made a big boulder of it, put some big dikes around it. Maybe you know one, it's called the Afsluit Dyke. Pretty much one of the most famous, well, dikes, dams in the world, I believe. But yeah, anyway, Stavoren nowadays alongside the IJsselmeer. Also a couple of ports in here with fishermen and all that. And yeah, from the history, you can see that it is a pretty old town. Nice old buildings and all that. Looking pretty nice. Welcome to Hindelope, small town, not that much exciting over here. It's located, well, a bit into the IJsselmeer. So it's a bit of an, well, a thingy into the IJsselmeer whatsoever. Back in the days, they had very interesting traditional clothing. Meanwhile, we see an XC60 Polestar engineer standing over here. So they do have some nice things, good spot. <laughs> anyway, back in the day, this town focused on trade by sea especially and they focused on Scandinavia and the Eastern Sea so towards Finland and a bit of Russia and all that so quite interesting yeah on to the next stop I guess So just past Warcom, we had a little lunch over there and now we are heading on to Bolsward. Welcome to Bolsward, the next city on our tour. This one is in the heart of the 11 cities. So basically the most centered village or city in the Elfstaden Tocht trip. Anyway, uh, Bolsward is known for um, its walking. So basically the Elfstaden Tocht for uh, walking starts here in Bolsward and also the cycling edition, I believe. So yeah, you have the car one, walking, cycling, you even have people who go by canoes and all that. But um, yeah, Bolsward, Nice authentic village as well. Typical small Dutch streets everywhere in these city centers. Nice old buildings. And yeah, on to the next one again. Alrighty folks, so the eighth stop of the day, Harlingen. Harlingen is located alongside the Baddezee, a pretty famous sea for its low tide and high tide. Uh, make sure you Google that, it's pretty interesting. You can also walk on it when it's like low tide or anything like that. Anyway, the Baddezee is also part of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage thingy. And besides that, from Harlingen, you can also take the ferry to the Dutch islands. We have five of them. Tessel, Vlieland, Terschelling, Ameland and Schiermonnik Oog. If you are ever traveling in the Netherlands, make sure you check it out. It's very nice to head over there as well. Besides that, also great fish in Harlingen. Make sure you check it out. The Kibbeling, that's a Dutch thingy. Just Google it as well. Anyway, that is Harlingen. On to the next one, our ninth stop of today. And that is called Traneker. Yeah, 
on we go. So we are on our way to our second last stop. It's called Dokum, the village. And this one is quite notorious as we are already driving from Vlaaneker to Dokum for about 45 minutes. So often in the Elfstedentocht, this part is like the most notorious part, the most heavy, the most exhausting for all those ice skaters because it's still such a distance you need to cover from Vlaaneker, which is quite a nice village, of course. Lots of things happening and then you disappear into the dark evening often already because it's quite late then already towards Dokkum so it's a long stretch of Dutch polders nothing happening over here so pretty cool we are heading there right now and then onwards to the finish line in Leeuwarden. So welcome to Dokkum, our second last stop of the day. We finally made it over here in the far northern part of Friesland. It's another nice historical village. Yeah, just very nice to be. And we have been here before with the Volvo C40 as well because our first little road trip with this car was to Dokkum. So it uh, looks all quite familiar over here. Anyway, a video about that is also on the channel. If you want to check that out, the link is now in the screen and I will also put it in the description down below if you want to check it out after this video. So yeah, Dokkum that is. And now onwards to the finish in Leeuwarden. Go folks, the finish line of the Elfstedentocht. We made it, or well, the Volvo C40 made it with 27% state of charge, perfectly fine. It was a bit an easy walk in the park for the C40. Anyway, great day we had over here at the famous finish line. It's pretty cool to be here, first time ever. Biggest takeaway from today, lots of respect to the people who actually completed this race, because by car it takes a while, but then out in the nature, on your skates, respect. That being said, I thank you a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel, much appreciated. And of course, I will see you in my next normal video and also winter special video. See you next time, bye bye.